Hi church, uh, Pastor Nate here, and I just want to encourage you from God's word again today. Uh, I have my Bible open to Psalm 91. I would encourage you to open it up with me, and I want to read some words that uh, uh, David penned that uh, I hope will be of help and comfort and encouragement to you this morning. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall to your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you and no plague to come near your tent. I read that to you not because that's a set in stone promise that um, you will be saved from pestilence. Um, This is a psalm written by David, um, but it's certainly relevant for our time. There's a couple of things that I, I, I would like to point out, and that is that it starts off with, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I want you to think about when you're walking with, uh, with a friend who's maybe taller than you at certain angles, a certain time of the day, their shadow will be cast on you. That reminds us of nearness. It reminds us of closeness. It reminds us of the kind of closeness we're not supposed to be doing right now, by the way. The intimacy with God is how this psalm starts. And what then it goes into is the, the sovereignty of God over all of the difficulties that might befall us. And it talks about, you know, poison and pestilence and enemies and arrows. And we could add to that list all the other things that worry us. But the point here is, is that when we, when we abide in the shadow of the Most High, when we, when we abide in the shadow of God, when we're, when we're close with Him, when we're intimate with Him, when we are with Him, He can assure us of his protective care over us. We know that there have been faithful people of God who have died of pestilence and arrows and and hunger and all those kinds of things. But what this is promising is not necessarily the specific things that God is going to for sure protect you from, but it's reminding you that the one that you are walking closely with has the sovereign ability to keep you safe. And so it's very right for you to abide close to him now in this time. Let him speak to you and minister to you from his word and pray to him and pray for protection, pray for care, pray that he does save you from all the things that are going on right now. Let the word of God renew your mind in these times. Make sure that uh, you're not trusting in statistics or the latest updates from Health Canada. Uh, Make sure that your trust is from the one who you are abiding close to, who is sovereign over all things including pestilence, including danger, including enemies. I hope that's encouraging to you. Praise God, we still have his word and we can open it together. I hope you are encouraged.